This tute's going to look at independent variables versus dependent variables and how do we tell them apart. With univariate data that meant uni meaning one and variate we're talking about the variable we were dealing with data that had one variable and just looking at information about that one variable. In the bivariate section bi means two and we're going to be talking about two variables and comparing them one to the other. So for example height and weight. Those are two different variables we could collect about a group of individuals and what we might be able to say comparing them is that one has some effect on the other. One can be explained by the other one. Now in this case would it make sense to say my height is due to my weight or would it make sense to say my weight is due to my height? Really if you say if I was a little bit taller I might weigh a bit more that makes sense. If I weighed a bit more I might be a little bit taller doesn't make sense. So when you have two variables like this sometimes they won't have any effect on each other and they'll just be completely unrelated but if they do have a relationship to one another one of them is generally dependent upon the other and that one becomes the dependent variable and the other one which is free to do what it likes we call the independent variable. And the way to tell them apart is to say the statement, you know, blah de blah depends on blah de blah and see if it makes sense. So for example, height depends on weight does not make sense because your height doesn't depend on how much you weigh. But weight depends on height does make sense because your weight could be dependent upon how tall you are. So in that case, weight would be the dependent variable because weight depends on height and height would be the independent variable. Here's a few examples. So let's run through saying the sentence blah depends on blah replacing these variables with the blahs there and see if the sentence makes sense or doesn't make sense. So age depends on salary. Does how old you are depend on how much money you make? That does not make sense. What about the other way around? Salary depends on age. Well that could make sense. The younger you are the less money you make, the older you are the more money you make. So if salary depends on age then this one is the dependent variable and this one is the independent variable. This next one, homework hours depends on your test result. That does not make sense that how long you studied for depends on what you got in a test. But the other way around, your test result depends on the homework hours spent. That does make sense. So test result depends on homework hours means this one is dependent upon this one, which is independent. Hair color and ethnicity. So my hair color depends on my ethnicity. That could make sense. Ethnicity depends on hair color. Mm, does not make sense. If I change my hair color, it doesn't change my ethnicity. So hair color depends on ethnicity. That would make this one dependent and this one independent. Blood alcohol level depends on reaction time. That does not make sense. Reaction time depends on blood alcohol level. That does make sense. So this one would be dependent and this one would be independent. So what you're trying to find here is whether one of these things can be explained by the other. So for example, your blood alcohol level probably has something to do with how much alcohol you've drunk. It has nothing to do with how fast you react to a certain situation. The reaction time has absolutely no effect on your blood alcohol level. It cannot, your reaction time cannot explain your blood alcohol level. Your blood alcohol level would be explained by things like how much you drank, how much you weigh, whether you're male or female. Those sorts of factors would affect this, but your reaction time would have no effect on this. Vice versa, your reaction time could be explained by a few different things. It could be explained by how tired you are or how quickly you react normally anyway, but something that could affect it might be your blood alcohol level. So what we're looking for is not to say that one thing causes the other definitively and wholeheartedly, but if the two things had a relationship, which would be a possible cause of the other?
So blood alcohol level could be a cause of your reaction time, which means your reaction time depends on this. And that's how you get those two uh, definitions, dependent and independent, those classifications. So let's try another one. Distance from home to school and the mode of transport. So is your distance from home to school dependent upon your mode of transport? Or does your mode of transport depend on how far you have to go to get from home to school? So mode of transport depends on this one. You might walk if you live really close and you might have to catch the bus if you live quite far away. But the distance from home to school does not depend on your mode of transport. So this one becomes dependent and this one is independent. Your comfort level and the temperature. So does this make sense? My comfort level depends on the temperature. Well that makes sense to me. What about the other way? The temperature depends on my comfort level. That doesn't. So comfort level is dependent on temperature. So this is the dependent variable and this is the independent variable. Next one, level of education and salary. So does level of education depend on your salary? Does how much you make have some effect on what level of education you have? It doesn't really make sense. What about the other way around? Salary depends on education level. That, that could make sense. The higher your education level, the more money you make. So salary would be dependent and level of education would be independent. Next one there. Percentage of smokers in a population and the occurrences of lung cancer. So let's do this sentence here that depends on. Percentage of smokers in a population depends on the occurrences of lung cancer. So if you have more occurrences of lung cancer, you have more people in the population not necessarily, but how about the other way around? The occurrences of lung cancer depends on the percentage of smokers in a population. That makes sense. So this would be the dependent variable and this would be the independent variable. And last one, the hours of driving practice on L plates and the number of P plater fatalities. So does hours of practice depend on the number of P plater fatalities? Or does the P-plate of fatalities depend on the number of hours of practice they got? I would say it's this way around. This, how many fatalities there are, depends on how much they practiced. So being able to tell those apart is important for a couple of reasons. First of all, when we graph uh, two variables on a scatter plot, you always put the dependent variable on the vertical axis or the Y axis and you put the independent variable along the horizontal axis or the x-axis. So you need to be able to tell which is which before you can graph them. The other reason is that they could just test you on that basic notion of which is which on an exam and I'll show you that. Here is a real question that appeared on the 2008 exam 2. So that's the short answer of the extended response exam. And the question says this, the arm span in centimetres and heights in centimetres for a group of 13 boys have been measured. The results are displayed in the table below. And then there was a table in here and I've just cut that out to fit it all on one screen. The aim is to find a linear equation that allows arm span to be predicted from height. What will the independent variable be in the equation? So on that exam, there was one mark in the exam was just for saying which is the independent and which is the dependent variable. So in this case, arm span in centimetres and height. Does it make sense to say your arm span is dependent upon your height? That makes sense to me. What about the other way around? Your height is dependent upon your arm span. Probably not. So I'm going to say the independent variable. So arm span depends on height, meaning this one is dependent and this one is independent. So the independent variable will be height in centimetres. Another way to tell in this question would have been to look here. They are looking for an equation that allows arm span to be predicted from height. So they want arm span to be dependent upon the height. So they've given it to you right there with that sentence. So then again you can see that arm span is the dependent and height is the independent. 